Hey guys, um, it is August 23rd at 3 o'clock. I'm up in uh, the Tonto National Forest. I'm just leaving the White Mountains and going back down towards the Phoenix area. And I uh, um, had been checking my messages here uh, earlier and uh, seeing that so many people that are just now waking up that something's going on. Um, don't really understand what ascension is and while I was driving I was just thinking about it and feeling it and you know, trying to decide you know how to put it to words and anyway I was just stopping off in a very incredible spot can you see it ah, it is just absolutely gorgeous here and then my old truck that I drive all over the place and anyway, I uh, wanted to stop off and, and say a couple of words on this while I, while I had it on my mind. And um, anyway, what Ascension is, and it's, it's got so many different um, levels and meanings to it, but because there's, there's the personal Ascension that those of us on the spiritual path are seeking to go through, that's the Enlightenment. The in light in meant the the activation of our chakras and our light body, and um, the increasing of the light quotient that is in our physical fields. When we activate our heart chakra, we're activating the Merkaba um, that surrounds our body or our light body, and from there, it's a constant state of expansion of that in incorporating more and more light into the physical being and there are different ways of doing it um, and it's going to be different with everybody uh, then we also have a collective ascension that's going on right now with so many of us going through our enlightenment our uh, personal physical ascensions here on planet We've got a collective ascension that's going on, and um, and that's helping to activate all of uh, the rest of humanity, and also helps to activate uh, raising the frequencies of this planet and bring her through the ascension process. And then we've got uh, Earth ascension. Mother Earth is ascending right now, along with the universe is ascending right now, um, and we're kind of like the center focus of all that. Um, that's because we've got so many different ambassadors from all the other different uh, civilizations around the universe that's here experimenting with the duality right now as uh, the representative for their particular civilization that they come from. Well, we've also got uh, dimensional ascension, which dimensional ascension um, will be in the future when we have uh, either Mother Earth going through her dimensional ascension and we're all riding with it or we have got a critical mass number of awakened humanity that is has hit a certain vibrational frequency where we can no longer stay in this particular dimension um, it's all part of the whole and it's all individual facets of the whole and it's like gears and gear teeth in a transmission it's uh, those of us that are going through our uh, our collective ascension right now and there's many waves of us doing that we're like different teeth on a single gear that's within the whole transmission that's the driving force powering the universal uh, ascension and so you know there's there's so many different levels to it I've had people ask me if if uh, they uh, if they can do it after they drop body and absolutely a lot of people do but the mastery is doing it while we're in body the mastery is going for that gold ring in ascension um, the ascension mastery path while here in the physical body while we haven't made it to a 5d earth is um, that's going for the gold ring that's that's giving it all you got that's going for the gusto that's that's the um, the forgetting of the 3d and which you have to do you have to let those lessons be learned and let it go by to even begin your ascension process and there's different steps that you got to take to that 
Um, then I've had people say, well, can you enlighten yourself by just imagining a bubble of light around your physical being and just filling that up with light? Yes, absolutely. In fact, that's one of the things that you start off with. One of the things that um, I first did in martial arts back in the 1970s, I opened my chakras, allowed those energies to flow. And then in the late 80s, as I was really starting to... Uh, realized there's a lot of magic in the spirituality um, what I was doing was in in protecting myself I put myself in situations that were as you know very dangerous and to surround myself with light I would envision that bubble that's around my physical being um, and I would just fill it with light and I'd call on Archangel Michael and I you know say the old prayer Archangel Michael in front of me please protect me Archangel Michael behind me please protect me to the left to the right above and below Archangel Michael is all around me surrounding me protecting me and invoking that and when I get in dangerous situations then I would be invoking that uh, that prayer in that divine protection um, to make sure I'd be okay and it, and it works um, it also gives you a, a very big relief when you're scared or you're not certain or stuff like that but anyway can you um can is that part of ascension yes um that bubble that surrounds you and filling that up with light is but one of the next things that you have to do after that is to surrender all you well you have to make a decision that what you want to do is enlightenment you have to make a decision that that is the greatest thing that that um, you can achieve and that's what you want to do and it's an intent You've, it, only an individual can do that nobody can do it for you you have to go damn it that's what I want <laughs> I'll settle for nothing less <laughs> and that's what I did and um, and my process has been going on for many many lifetimes but um, there are those of us that um, we're here specifically for that. I've ascended off this planet once before. Um, during the time of Atlantis is the way it was coming in. But that does not mean that when you come back, you automatically start off at that same ascension point. No, not at all. You um, actually, a lot of times, have to start over and remember who you are and remember that process again. And there's a lot of us that volunteered to come back and go through that process at these end times of duality um, so that we can raise the frequency of the planet so that... Um, no, we did it because we have already found the way once before. And... Um, and we're here to raise the frequency of the planet and show other people how to do it. And um, anyway, blah, 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 blah. Uh, once you start activating your chakras, what you're doing is empowering yourself. And as you empower yourself, the more light you bring within your field, the more um, magic potential you have in you. And um, the way to get the most light and highest vibration uh, from that process is ridding yourself of the duality and the negativity and turning yourself not on the exterior not focused on television or music or consumerism or going to bars and being with your friends or having sex or all the stuff the the way to get there is to focus to the inside find that light in your heart and expand it and grow it realize that light that's within inside you is the great treasure and as you release the negativity the more light you can put in place of where that negativity was and um and then you have to be very determined like that to uh, go through your chakra activation process and to activate your heart chakra you have to totally totally be focused out of here into here and you've got to do it for weeks and um, after about a month or so you'll feel that heart chakra start spinning and you'll feel a super bliss that that uh, comes with that heart chakra activating when it starts spinning heavily like that is when it's activating and then you've got hold your focus there for a longer period of time and 
the activation turns into an anchoring process. That anchoring process is what makes it permanent. And um, once you keep your focus there after um, even more time, then the rest of the chakras, the throat chakra above the heart, and then the uh, solar plexus chakra will activate. And then the third eye and the sacral chakra will activate. And then your root and your crown will activate. And it doesn't necessarily have to be in that order, but that was the way that... Um, I chose to do it and that my process was because it was balanced. The balance point is the heart chakras of the three upper uh, physical chakras and the three lower physical chakras. And so activating that first and then each additional one expanding your light out and out, it's just a logical way of doing it. Anyway, this has been on my mind with uh, uh, several messages that have come through and a dinner that I had with a dear friend who let me stay at her house for the past couple of weeks up here in the mountains and uh, I was trying to explain this to her and it seems like there's been a whole lot of people asking the same questions here in the past days and anyway what a great place to stop off and to do a video like this huh let me show you around <laughs> look at this can you see it can you see it? Can you see it? Isn't that cool? <laughs> oh man, I love my wilderness areas. That uh, you know, I come back in hang around town to hold lights here and there and be around other people and do ceremonies and you know do what I gotta do but guys to me this is me this is what I love this is where I feel the most at home it's the most natural and you can understand why ascended masters take off and go to the wilderness go to those sacred mountains so they can hold the highest light and uh, there's nothing like it there's absolutely nothing like it nothing else on this whole planet matters to me more than the light I hold in my connection with Mother Earth and how much more beautiful can you get that's just incredible can you still see down the cliffs it's just straight on. Straight on. Ah! <laughs> I love it. Anyway, love you guys. I hope this uh I hope this video comes out um without too much wind in it. No, if it does, I'll listen to it tonight and I'll put it to the internet once I get back to Scottsdale. Anyway, guys, love you all. Bye for now. Mwah.